Hey, Clashes, the big Clash Wing event starts tomorrow and it's going to bring us five new event troops and a new epic equipment. Well, you can access the event with clicking on the event building on the top left of your village. And with that, you can take a look at all of those different rewards. The medals which you can claim are going to be then later exchanged versus other rewards in the trader. So overall, a lot of rewards which you can claim with this event you can progress in the pass with just doing multiplayer battle and taking down those specifically marked buildings which then earn you points and those points are then going to be used to progress through the pass and make sure that you can unlock even more stuff you can take down the buildings with troops with spells with equipments with whatever you would like and then you can get the rewards after for that, you don't have to do any stars. You just have to take down those specific buildings and you will get the points. Those points will scale up over the event. So in the beginning, you will get less points. And in the end of the event, you're going to get more and more points to make sure that there is a specific comeback mechanic. Those are all of those different rewards which you can unlock. And those ones which are in, highlighted in a yellow circle, you can get those then from, uh, well, the event pass and you have to pay money for those. As well, you have all of those different rewards which you can exchange later on versus the event medals which you can get from the free-to-play and from the event pass. And there's a lot of things which you can unlock. A couple of decorations, but I think the most interesting thing is going to be the new equipment. That's right. This equipment is the first equipment ever which is spawning event troops and this equipment is permanent. This means you can spawn the balloon troops after this event is over. I guess Supercell really was convinced that people love the Lava Loon Troop. And I have to say, I think it has to be the, I guess, the most loved troop which ever there was in the game because it was a huge success last year. And this is why they're going to bring it back this time around, though, as an equipment. And, well, this means you're just going to get two Lava Loon Troops in your attacks if you have this equipment maxed out, which is quite nice, right? Like, it's, it's quite nice. As well, you could go for the decoration or other things, but I think most people would go for the equipment. As well, let's just go through every single uh, of the event troops. But before that, a quick reminder, if you want to get quicker through the equipments and want to get the event pass, make sure to support your favorite content creator out there. And with using code so you support me and this channel. But let's start things off with the level loot. And you have already noticed, Supercell has put that right in the beginning because they know this was the favorite troop of so many people. For everyone who has missed the event last year, this troop is going to target air defenses and on its way is going to drop bombs non-stop on the village. Which is just insane, okay? On top of that, it's going to spawn lava pups, which are going to attack everything. So you don't even have to worry about defending heroes. Like, this troop is, does everything. And trust me, over the next couple of weeks, everyone can 3-star. And I mean non-stop those event troops are in true event troop fashion just really really strong okay so everyone who's pushing legends best of luck <laughs> that's all i'm going to say next one's going to be the ice minions okay the ice minions are the new event troop and this one is going to attack only defenses and when it's going to explode or taken care of it's going to have a freeze effect, which is pretty insane. That is pretty crazy, considering that it's only four housing space. I mean, take a look at this again. It's going to go down, and it's going to bring a freeze, and the auto attacks of them are even slowing things down. I mean, you will be able to use them in a lot of different strategies and to really great success. I think they're going to be amazing for a lot of different strategies. But hey, as I already said, we are just on the second of the event troops. The next event troop, I think, uh, it's more going to be the supportive style. And I think uh, it's going to be quite simple. First couple of seconds, the Barcher troop is going to be invisible. And as it's going to become in not invisible anymore, it's going to be taken care of a lot of defenses because it doesn't have a lot of hit points. It's mostly used as a funnel troop because it has only three housing space. And it can be quite nice for that because defenses can't do anything about it. So there's not much of a counterplay. Except putting like traps on the outside, which is not that likely, I guess. So overall, a really nice troop for especially for funneling. The next troop was a favorite of many as well. 
Because the Witch Golem is kind of like a Super Witch on steroids. I mean, that is just insane. The Golem, the Witch Golem, is going to spawn non-stop regular skeletons. And it's just really tanky. It has 41 housing space, but over 9,000 hit points. On top of that, when it's going down, it's going to spawn giant skeletons. That's right, big boys. And I mean, take a look. That's just, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be just crazy. Because when it's alive, it's going to spawn regular skeletons. When it's going down, it's going to turn into big boys. So you pretty much have a win-win situation. And you can just take down villages so, so easily with this troop. So if everyone who loves air, go with Lava Loon. Everyone who loves ground can go with the Witch Golem. But the troop which I used a lot last year was the Hawk Wizard. Because this troop is a bit more harder to use. But it was one of the strongest troops. Because it, it's just insane. The damage, the hit points... It has even like a poison effect around it. It is just crazy how strong this is. And everyone who is doing the Mass Super Hawk Rider strategy, which I have highlighted a couple of days ago on this channel, switch to the Hawk Wizards and you are going to have no problems whatsoever anymore in this game. It is just insane. And with this, we have covered every single event troop. I will do in the next days for sure a video where I will give you the top strategy for every single event troop. Make sure that you're watching out for that and follow the channel so you don't miss that video. And I will share with you how to really utilize every single of those event troops because trust me, they are strong. You will overall get 3,100 plus 650 medals as a free-to-play player. And uh, as soon as I know if there's any links out there where you get extra medals, I will let you know in the next video. But let's take a look at the two decorations which you can actually buy from the trader shop. The first one is the uh, Calderum. And this one's quite funny because most of the recent 3x3 decorations have like special effects. So if you tap them, something is happening. For example, for this one, there's always something dropping into the pot. <laughs> and that can be a bat. Sometimes it's like a chicken. Sometimes it's like an eye. Like so It's always some weird stuff. Okay, so we're doing some witchcraft right here. But <laughs> if you're doing too much stuff in there, yeah, you see what happened. I tapped too much, I guess, okay? So that was, I think he was not happy. I think he did not like the bat. I think that was the biggest problem. Either way, quite funny decoration, but I'm not sure if it's worth it, the 3,100. Let me know. I think there are some, I have learned already with one of the latest videos that some people out there are really, really hungry for decorations. Let me know if you will buy this or if you go for the equipment, okay? I will as well do an equipment guide and equipment video ranking really, really soon. If you're wondering if the equipment is worth it, but that decoration looks funny, I have to admit, but I am personally not really sure. But just to make sure, because I know people want to know how to use the first super, uh, like the first event troop, which is getting unlocked, which is the Lava Loon. And the concept here is simple. Take down the arrow fences and you're going to be fine. And remember, last year we had not those equipments just yet. If you have no giant arrow, don't worry, just bring more lightnings, okay? So the goal here is to take down every single air defense except one. That's really, really important, okay? Take every air defense out except one. Then use the Lava Loon, let it fly across the first part of the village, rage it up. It's going to one-shot the tunnel, we're just flying over it, okay? That's just insane. And then on the middle way through, you're going to use the lightnings on the back end air defense, and then they're going to spread around in the core of the base, and the base is just getting... Take a look at me. It's just getting demolished. It, like, that's not even the right word. It's just, it just disappears, okay? And that's the same thing as last year. And that's what I mean. There will be a lot of three stars in those next couple of weeks. If you are struggling because of the Druid nerf, don't worry. November, uh, October is here for you because all of those event troops are kind of insane. I will share with you really the top strategies for every single one of them if you have like a specific favorite or something. But if you're already looking for a top strategy to use when the event is going to launch tomorrow, here you go. You can just combine this with pretty much everything. If you have more rages in your army, go with the healing tome. That's what I did. If you have less rages because you have to bring more lightnings, go with the rage gem. You can go a lot of stuff. Like, it won't really matter. It's just going to be an overkill every single time. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.